talk about things to stay away from, put good food in your body, build good habits, be a good friend, be a good son, be a good daughter, right? You're going to take that good energy, you're going to carry that out for the rest of their camp. All right, so I want everybody, I want minions, at the short basket, we're going to go to the same basket to start off the same thing. Go to your baskets right now.
are in a fire and they have to call 911 and a fire man or a fire woman comes and saves your life. So again, it's always important to have teammates in life that will help you be successful. And Joel Anthony is that type of teammate. Give a big MVP All-Star round of applause for Joel Anthony. Yeah! How's everyone doing today? How's everyone doing today? Good job! Like I said, my name is Joel Anthony. Born and raised in Montreal. Uh, played, uh, started out professionally playing, uh, playing basketball here for your hometown Heat for uh, the first uh, six and a half years. Played uh, after that, went to uh, Boston for half a year uh, here in uh, Detroit. And right now I'm going to be going back to Very happy to be here though. You know, happy to get a chance to spend some time with you guys and get a chance to talk with you and be on the court with you. You know, really happy to see all uh, all these young uh, all these young faces here uh, trying to trying to get better at basketball because I'm, I'm sure we all love basketball but the uh, the time that, that you're putting in right now to be able to get better and try and improve and just to continue to have fun, you know, and being able to meet new friends, and this is what this is what it's really all about. So I hope you guys are having a really good time uh, over here at the uh, camp, and you know, hope, hope this week has been going well, and uh, I really want you guys to finish off strong. We have a little bit of a Q and A, but and uh, I'm just going to give you five words one at a time. This would like you to express to the campus what that word means to y'all. First word is leadership. Share with us what leadership means to you. Uh, leadership to me is being able to to help and guide people in uh, in a positive direction. Uh, I think that it's important that we have leaders in this world because we need people that are are able to, to show us the way, you know, when, when we're not sure, you know, which which way to go. So on the team, you know, to be able to have have a really good leader on the team is, is someone that's going to be able to help that team reach their you know, final goal in terms of whatever they're trying to do. So leadership uh, to me is, is being able to have that guy to to be able to help people reach their final goal in a uh, positive way. Uh, our second initiative is academics. Uh, what does academics mean to Joel uh, Academics, just like I said before, academics is extremely important. Academics, education, uh, to be able to um, expand your knowledge you know, on Whatever the subject may be, whether whether it is on basketball, whether it's in math, science, history, you know, uh, academics is extremely important so that we could uh, we can educate ourselves, so that we can be smarter individuals that you know will be able to make better decisions because we've educated ourselves to be to, to, to be the, that much better in whatever subject that. that Our third word, Joel, our third initiative is athletics. What does athletics mean to Joel Anthony? Athletics is, it's been a lot of things obviously personally for me, but it's been for me a, a guide, a, I'd say almost a, a gateway to a lot of different opportunities. Um, athletics, at, at one point when I was Young Life, like you all, was one of the biggest things you know, in, in my life. And obviously, because of athletics, I've you know, been able to do a lot of things, but athletics has uh, built
built a lot of friendships for me. It's opened the doors to a lot of opportunities to help me provide for my family. Athletics has kept me in shape, uh, has, has allowed me to be healthy and allowed me to realize things about not just working out, but nutrition and how to, how to take care of my body and how to keep my body strong. So uh, athletics, you know, has, has gone, it, it goes a lot farther than just basketball. It uh, goes uh, towards a uh, lifestyle in terms of how we could keep our bodies strong and healthy to, to be able to live you know, a long, healthy life. Great. Does anybody have a <laughs> All right, listen up, listen up. We want to get something really positive out of this. Yeah, yeah. In terms of leadership, Ken, what advice would you give to the kids at this stage of their lives? I told leadership. I told them earlier. Okay, the first thing I said was about leadership, about, uh, about being a good good friend. Wait, wait, I got to speak. You know, let you, you got you know, to know how to be a good uh, good son you know, to, your, to your parents. Uh, you got you start leading by earning, by earning, doing the things you're supposed to do, self-discipline within yourself. You know, some of the things we don't want to do in life, we have to. You know, like you guys gotta you gotta go to school to get an education. That's, that's something that has to be done. What kind of advice do you have for them regarding academics? Academics is uh I'll tell you some, some quick stories about myself. I went to Archbishop Law, like Jason said, as a deficiency. As a deficiency uh, learning, I, I figured out the problem and I, I conquered it. You know, I went, you know, like Jason said, I try to tell this to my kids, but nowadays all these kids is the pride factor. You know, I, I was having some problems in some classes, so I picked out. My mentor told me to do this, and I wasn't sure at first. I picked out the number one student in the class. And I said, uh, could you help me like every day after school or for half an hour? And we went to the library or we did it in the classroom. So you can't be afraid to get help, you know, when you want to do, do well in school. I My name is Warren Strickland. I'm from Decatur, Georgia, by way of Temple University. What NBA team did you play for? I played for the Miami Heat. I played for the Atlanta Hawks, Denver Nuggets, Dallas Mavericks, New Jersey Nets. Uh, my, and the Indiana Pacers. Talk a little about your experience with the All-Star MVP basketball camp. Uh, originally, I got involved with it because uh, it was an opportunity for me to kind of give back to the game of basketball because it's given me so much to kind of teach kids the right way. Um, I go to a lot of high school games. Um, also go to the Miami Pro League and I see guys still not making left-hand layups, still not playing the game the right way. So. You know, the All-Star Basketball Accounts gave me an opportunity to catch kids at a younger age and kind of teach them the right way and give them those, those skills that they need to kind of go on and get, get, uh, get better in basketball. And I'm also trying to get them to see that they can use basketball to get a free education. That's what I'm trying to preach, you know, just get to college and get a free education with it. If you go pro, you go pro, but the goal is to get them better in basketball and to get them to college and get them a free education. You played for some great leaders, like John Chaney, uh, Pat Riley. Talk about the role of mentoring Oh, it's huge. You know, John Chaney, I think, out of all the coaches I coached, you know, me and my wife was talking about that the other day. Um, I think John Chaney was the most influential because I was with him four years. And when you, your college coach is kind of like your dad when you go away from home. And he had a lot of those qualities in my father that my father instilled in me before I got to Temple. You know, being my own man, standing on my own two feet, not, not being afraid to go left when the whole crew is going right. When you know the crew is going right and they're doing something wrong, you can't be afraid to stand on your own two feet. Uh, Coach also taught me about being myself no matter what, you know, not changing to be a part of a group. Um, just, you know, hanging with people that like to hang with me. Um, he also taught us about being a gentleman, you know, tying bow ties, and how to conduct ourselves at, you know, elegant events and those type of things. Not being afraid to step outside the box of our comfort zone and experiencing different That's things. The first thing that every NBA scout that I talk to, and I know plenty, they ask first question, first question, first question they ask about attitude. This question he asked, does he have a good grade? Does he have grades? Does he have the grades to get into school? If you don't have the grades, then you don't need to get 
without wasting his time with food. Leave. Any point you learn from me today, grade. Go to school, get your grades up. It's the most important thing. Education is the key to success. Any success. Business success, basketball success, everything. You have to get your grades. Alright? Y'all got it? That's the real week. Y'all got it? Yeah! Y'all got it? Yeah! Q&A. Alright, look, Marvin's going to have a couple of questions. Oh, cool. All right, go. Our next guest, I had the pleasure of working with this young man when I was at the Boys and Girls Club of Broward County. He was being sort of unit. He would come into our summer program and hoop every day. He was younger than the other guys. He was a middle school kid, and I would allow him to play against the high school kids. And he would outplay all the guys in 11th and 12th grade, he was only a 6th, 7th, and 8th grader. He had great ball handling skills, great court vision, very quiet, very polite, very respectful. And you could just see that he was a special individual. What I also knew about him was that he carried a 4.0 grade point average. He came from a great home. And he just conducted himself like a true gentleman. He went to Pinecrest High School, where as an eighth grader, he was a starting point guard on Boston. The community started to understand that this was a special kid. He went on to be, to win two high school AAU national championships in back-to-back -back years. We played alongside Kenny Point, who was another great player from South Florida. They both were McDonald's All-Americans, which is one of the highest accolades a high school basketball player has ever seen. He earned a high school, excuse me, a college scholarship to play with Coach John Calipari at the University of Kentucky. We had a great first season. And after that first year, made himself eligible for the draft when he was a lottery pick. But here's what I want to tell you guys about this young man. As much as the world knows him for what he has achieved as an athlete, specifically a basketball player, I know you see him. But we talked about earlier, how many years do you have? How many years? How many miles do you have? You need to listen twice as much as you talk, correct? One of the greatest things about this young man is that all through middle school, all through high school, and even his first year in Kentucky, he maintained a 4.0 grade point average. That's perfection. See, there's a correlation between the way you approach your schoolwork and your capabilities as an athlete. Because he's a student, but he's also a student of the game. He's a worker. He's committed to his own success. He's always accepted the role as a role model. He's a fabulous person. As much as you regard him as a great athlete, he's a class act off the floor. But what does a class act mean? The type of young man that opens doors for people when they walk into a building. The type of person that says, please and thank you. It's what you call a gym rat. You know where he's most comfortable at? Practicing, working out. When coaches are talking, he's attentive. You don't have to beg him to work on his game, not right now. He's self-motivated. Does anybody know what being self-motivated is? <coughs> Wanting to do things by yourself. Doesn't need his mom or his dad to motivate him to work hard. But I'm extremely proud of this young man, and we're very thankful that he made time out of his busy schedule to come and share with our All-Star MVP basketball camp. Give a big round of applause for NBA point guard, Brandon Knight.
Thank you guys for allowing me to come out and talk to you guys. It's always a pleasure. I'm not I'm sure how many of you were here last year, uh, but I had the chance to come out and speak to you guys last year. So you know, I enjoy spending time with you guys. But of course, I just want to come and give you guys some encouragement. Um, I got a pretty busy week, you know, but it's very important to me. I don't think and uh, thank you guys for allowing me to come out as well. But uh, I just want to speak on some things that are important to me that I want to share with you guys. Uh, when I was growing up around your age, I had people in my life along with me that, that helped me come up and taught me, you know, certain ways to do things. You know, uh, the game of basketball is a very, very, it's a very, very interesting game. You know, this, this round ball can take you a lot of places. But uh, what I don't want you guys to neglect is that even though this ball can take a lot of places, so can education. For me, education is probably more so important than basketball. And honestly, education kind of, like I said, it correlates with, with basketball. All right, introduce yourself, BK. Brandon Knight from the Phoenix Suns, hometown, Fort Lauderdale. What high school did you go to? I went to uh, Pine Crest High School. Uh, a lot of your middle years you spent at the Boys and Girls Club. Talk right. about your time at the Boys and Girls Club with being for you. Uh, I mean, I would say that was developmental, uh, not only uh, sports-wise, but uh, just socially as well. You know, you come across a lot of different type of people there uh, that you learn to deal with, um, that you learn to get to know. Uh, and just the age difference. When I was young, you know, I would say probably uh, 10, you know, 10 years old, 11, 12 years old, I was with guys that were, you know, 16, playing, you know, compete with them in certain sports. And, you know, they taught me a lot of things. and. Uh, like I said, it was developmental in me, uh, you know, growing as an athlete and also socially as well, being mature and, and uh, learning how to interact with older people. Talk about your regimen to maintain a high academic academic through all the years. Uh, to maintain, uh, you know, uh, basically get the grades and, you know, uh, do what I need to do in the classroom. I just had to, I had to put the time in, you know, there's no way around it. You know, you got to put the time in. Uh, whatever you know, the teacher needs you to do to to get those grades, and you know, whether you're studying, reading, whatever it is, I'm gonna have to put the time in, along with you know the, the athletic stuff as well. So a lot of times I'll be up to uh, one, two in the morning, maybe three. I gotta be up at six thirty, seven o'clock in the morning to get back to school. So a lot of it is just really time consuming, and, and uh, you know, just trying to be efficient with the time as well. Like mentoring uh, is very important. I was kind of, you know, kind of hit on that earlier uh, when I said I was leading a lot of older guys. Uh, the fact that, you know, um, I spent a lot of time with those older guys, you know, they kind of took me under the wing and showed me uh, whether it be stuff with basketball, how to do things the right way off the court, um, just how to approach certain things. And I would say, you know, different things. You know, I, I, I took the took the meat, left the rest. You know, uh, with a lot of those situations and. I would say with a combination of different people helping me um, that I was really able to get the best out of, you know, growing up in the Boys and Girls Club and, and just with life in general. Like I said, I had a lot of people helping me, push me uh, on the right path.
going? Rita, Rita, Standing at six foot one. Rita, Rita, out of the University of Kansas. Rita, 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 Ice cream. College. NBA champion. Your Miami Heat point guard, Marvin Thomas. What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? Good. Have fun at camp? Yeah. Did y'all get better? Yeah. How you doing that fun? Yeah. Oh, that explains it. You've been in the camp, you're gonna have fun. Yeah. Oh, you can see me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I feel special. I appreciate it. I'm your biggest fan. I appreciate it. What's that? We've been doing a piece all week, Mario, about mentoring. Say a little word for you. Give you one word. Let the audience, let the campus know what it means to you. What does leadership mean for you? Leadership means to me is a person that's going to lead his team on a good days and a bad day. Um, you know, those are the type of people that. Their bad days gotta be great days for everybody else. Second initiative is academics. What does academics mean to Mario Jones? Uh, academics means a lot. Uh, you, you see the smile on my face right now, I'm so happy to be done with academics. But at, at the same time, each and every day I'm still learning. So throughout your life, you always gonna need academics, you always gonna learn. Our third initiative is athletics. What does athletics mean to you, right? Sure. Um, Athletics, you know, being active, you know, finding something that you love to do, whether it's basketball, football, boxing, soccer, whatever you like to do, and that's just putting up my heart, mind, and soul into it, trying to be the best you can be, out of it. Career development, what does that mean to Mario Chalmers? Um, career development, to me now, is something that's very important. Um, you know, right now I'm trying to get into different business adventures. Uh, you know, just trying to expand on my career behind uh, the opportunity of basketball. Health and wellness, what does that mean at Mario Jones? Uh, health and wellness simply means happiness to me. Uh, feeling good, everybody around you feels good, your parents feel good, everybody feel well. Give him a hand, Mario Jones. I don't know anybody right now who's playing professional basketball who can boast that they have a high school state championship, an NCAA state championship, and an NBA ring. He's won at every level. He's a winner. The only thing he's missing is an Olympic team, so we want him to play on the 2016 Olympics, don't we? Yeah. He wants to be on the Olympic team. Come out. Blessed with the opportunity. I also want to thank our sponsors, representing Warren Henry Auto. Come up here, please. You need to know how these things happen. It's not me, it's not Floyd, boy, it's not John, it's not the Jay, it's people like this from the community who represent Warren Henry Auto, who put their sponsor dollars to the benefit of youth having opportunities in education and athletics. So I'd like to say a couple of words on behalf of Warren Henry Auto, say what it means to be behind this program. Uh, well, we are very, very honored to be here with you guys and uh, see maybe some of the future stars and be part of that. Your future, like he was saying, uh, he was like you sitting there, look where he's now. And we're happy to have you in Miami. Uh, Warren Henry always, always is involved in programs, and especially in this one that for many years, I think for the last five years, we've been part of this program and we will continue supporting it. We love it. I think it's a great thing to see all your faces so happy and eager to be here and, and, and be part of your future. Uh, as he said, uh, sports is great, but your education is the main thing. So we look forward for you guys to continue your education, uh, finishing your schooling, graduating, and it may be part of like it is now. A great uh, asset to the Miami Heat, and we're going to probably will be with us in Miami for many years, okay? So good luck to all of you, and uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Give a big warm applause for all of you. Thank you for all of you. Thank you for all of you.
guys become wealthy, when you girls become geniuses and business owners, make sure you buy your cars from Huawei and Toyota. But I want to have a little conversation. I want to ask you, give you five words or something. We're going to have you share it with the audience. Okay, first, what, is, what does leadership mean to you personally? Uh, leadership just means just set, setting the example, you know, and just coming out here, not worrying about what anybody else um, thinking that thinks or anything, but just coming out here setting set the example for everybody else, just taking a leader role, just being by example. How do you anticipate leading this year with your team? Um, just, just showing it, you know, and just come out there. I'm not, I'm not really going to talk about it. You know, I'm not really, I, I, I set goals for myself. You know, I, I came in, I, I didn't go into the locker room saying, this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. I, I sat down with my family. I said, I want to have it to double double. I want to be a top three shot blocker for the So, you know, kind of set goals for yourself. And, and, and the rest just play out through hard work. Second word. Athletics, or at a basketball camp. I want to know what athletics means to you. I'm um, just, 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 just taking it just every day, just putting in the work, you know, and um, just being an athlete and just, just putting in the work and um, the dedication. That's what it means to me. Third word, academics. What does the word academics mean to you? I'm um, just putting in the schoolwork. You know, and, um, I mean, you're not going to be able to play basketball all your life, unfortunately. But, you know, knowledge is always going to be there, you know. And, um, so hitting the books, I mean, you really you really need that, you know. And um, just just learning, you know, it's, it's, it's really important just to get to your goals and what you want to be in life and getting them degrees to set an example for your kids. You know, one day y'all going to have kids and you want to set an example for them too. Fourth word. Career development. Career. What does that mean to Hassan Whiteside? Whatever your career is, I mean, you just put the time and the effort. You know, you put 100% into it. You know, you're not, you're not just out here just lounging around and sleeping on your own career. You know, um, I was in the gym at 2.30 last night. I woke, woke up this morning to come to y'all and I was talking to y'all. And that, that's just how I am, you know. Feel like that, you know, and I just put all my effort into into what I want, and this is my career, and this is what makes me happy. So I put 100 percent effort into it. And one final word, it's actually two. What does health and wellness mean to the big fella? Um, health and wellness, it just means just take care of your body and, and just having a healthy mindset of life, you know. Don't get What did I do to help with my drink? You know, each day, if you do a little by little, you're gonna see results.
Thank <laughs> you.